Hey y'all, what's good beautiful people? It's your girl Tay and I'm here yet again with another update video. So definitely make sure you guys smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe, plus push your post notification bell button so that when anytime I upload a video you will be notified. So today we've just got so much, like I said, I've been researching. Um, you guys have to excuse the announcements. All of my babies are here. I am so excited. So if it feels like this video was a little rushed, that's most likely why. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning for us. Um, it's just a lot. I have two delivery grocery orders that are going to be arriving within the next 30 to 45 minutes. I'm supposed to have that meeting. Um, I don't know if I told you guys about it, but um, my son um, may be mildly autistic. And so we're supposed to be meeting with his doctor via uh, like a, a video meeting conference to show her. I'm going to show her some footage. I've recorded some of his um, behavior just so that she can, you know, help me in point me to the right direction or whatever but outside of that you guys um and also don't forget to follow me on social media i do have an instagram page which is the name is my youtube channel she builds healthy wealth as well as facebook and then i just recently started a tiktok page i have no idea what's going to be going on over there i know it's going to be some cooking it's going to be me formulating because i do make home homemade skincare products um, and it's also going to be me having some fun with my children. So who who only knows what that's going to be. So definitely head over there. My TikTok and all of that, I'm going to put it on the page somewhere at some point in this video, you guys, so that you don't miss out on that. But jumping right into it. So today is June 15th for California. That means that a lot of the restrictions that were placed um, at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, specifically the executive orders are going to be lifted today. As far as my understanding, that includes the mask mandate. So I don't think that we have to wear a mask anymore except for in certain places um, of operation. I do believe that they were talking about keeping mask mandate um, in place for healthcare workers or in hospitals and things of that nature. Um, I do think that they're still going to be cutting down on how many people can be in certain businesses. I don't really have all the specifics, but I do know that they have um, today is supposed to be the day where he lifts a lot of those restrictions. Now, I mentioned in another video, this is just for California, I mentioned in another video that even though he's going to be lifting the mask mandate and a lot of the executive orders, he's going to be rescinding those. He's still keeping the state of emergency declaration in place. And the reason for that is so that just in case he needs to do any more executive orders or if he needs to change or um, implement any new uh, laws or whatever that he can do so, he still has the power to do so, which I actually think is a good idea. You know, I'm a little bit afraid, you know, they're talking about um, new forms of you know what that is now floating around in the United States of America. So um, I, I hope that everybody is being safe and all of that. But I did find some information, which I'm trying to go through, go to right now um, for Maine. Think you guys will be very 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 happy well at least some of you will so it says that maine in the mills in maine will be offering cash incentives to get unemployed mainers back to work so if you guys didn't know there's a lot of states i'm pretty sure you guys already know but there are plenty of states right now that have decided to cut the federal boosted unemployment benefits that's that 300 extra dollars that you are getting on top of your regular state uh weekly amount okay so there's a lot of states that wanted to cut that out they're saying that they believe that the unemployment benefits are what's causing the labor shortage okay there's a lot of people that obviously don't believe don't agree with that i myself am one of them there's a lot of people who are smart and have actually came out and spoke on the fact that there are people whose situations has changed unfortunately people have lost um the breadwinner in their household due to the pandemic you know due to the virus or whatever there's a lot of things that has happened um, that has changed people's living situation people who don't have child care people who don't have school you know there's a lot of things that have changed but there are a lot of states that are also deciding to give incentives for people to go back to work. So this coming from Augusta, Maine, it says with thousands of Maine are still filing for unemployment benefits and the state continuing its efforts to rebound from the um, pandemic, Governor Janet Mills on Monday announced a new program that offers cash incentives to get people back to work. Using $10 million in federal funding, the Maine Department of Labor and the Maine Department of Economic and Community Development will give employers a one time $1,500 payment to give to eligible workers who start jobs between today, June 15th and June 30th. It says the Mills administration said this in a release just recently. Mainers who start jobs in July will get a one-time payment of $1,000. Payments will be made on first-come, first-served basis. 
Funds for up to 7,500 Mainers has been allocated according to the release. To be eligible for the payment, workers must have received unemployment compensation for the week ending in May 29th, 2021. They also must accept a full-time job that pays less than $25 an hour, remain in the job for at least eight consecutive weeks, and not receive unemployment compensation during the eight-week period of employment. I think that's fair. I think that's highly doable there's not many jobs out there without proper certification um, and credentials that's going to pay you 25 dollars an hour so pretty much most people are starting off um, in retail you know customer service um, most people I'm not saying that there aren't people who exceed those expectations but most people are starting off with jobs that pay below 25 dollars an hour so i definitely think that the, the eligibility criteria is doable okay it says we have worked hard over the last 15 months to get the pandemic under control so that it's safe for everyone to return to work okay they're believing that the amount of people who have gotten sick cases are down vaccines are widely available available and jobs are plentiful okay so i definitely think that this is good they said that around 11,200 jobs have been added in the first quarter in 2021, okay? The work search requirement for unemployment benefits was reinstated on May 23rd, if you guys didn't know that, okay? So I definitely think this is good news for Maine. You guys have got $1,500 uh, incentive that you will be paid after two months of work if you start between today, June 30th, um, and the 30th. No, today, June, June 15th through the 30th, and you'll receive it after those two months of work, eight weeks, okay? And you cannot be receiving any type of unemployment, all right? So I definitely think that that is some good news. I wanted to see if I can find some information on what's going on with the um, the opening of the world today or maybe just the opening of california but you know what i'm going to move on to another subject there hasn't been anything that has changed when it comes to pandemic ebt or emergency max that snap benefits for the month of june i haven't seen anybody being approved for july so i really think that that's it for the emergency max snap snacks maximum emergency maximum snap allotments you guys oh my god like i said my brain is going a million miles per minute all of my babies just came today so i have all six in household and today is the first day it usually takes me a couple of days to get us on a schedule or some type of program especially when we're dealing with summer vacation because they're going to be going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth all right um what is this did i talk about this it doesn't even tell me where it is. You know what? I will come back to that because I don't know what it is. Okay. Some news on the infrastructure package. It says bipartisan Senate negotiators have reached an agreement on an infrastructure deal that would spend hundreds of billions in new federal dollars while also not increasing taxes. Um, but lawmakers face an uphill struggle as they work to sell this to the White House and their fellow lawmakers. So you guys know that they're going back and forth. It says that they reached a deal um, in the Senate. However, there was some conversation or there was some statements that were released by Nancy Pelosi where she was saying she doesn't think that they're going to be able to reach a deal with bipartisan support. They're going to have to bring a lot more to the table. Now, I don't know if she's actually looked at what this uh, new deal was from the Senate, if it's been brought to the House as of yet. But um right now she's not confident that they're going to be able to agree it says conservatives previously op opposed the more than roughly 300 billion in new spending and many democrats are demanding more than double the price tag for traditional infrastructure and climate related investments okay our group comprised of 10 senators five from each party has worked in good faith and reached a bipartisan agreement on realistic compromise framework to modernize our nation's infrastructure and energy technologies okay um this investment would be fully paid for and not include tax increases okay it says though the negotiators have struck some type of deal right um they've not yet released the details of their proposal so there's the answer to my question okay the group has kept the scope of the package more narrow than what president joe biden and many democrats have pushed um, it's a narrower scope than what the white house is proposing on what i think most people would define as hard infrastructure where where we're talking about building things, said Murkowski. I don't know who that is. So, um, 
you know, this is the same as all of the stimulus packages that they were negotiating last year, which is why I'm kind of highly in favor of a lot of the, um, I want to say the language around some of these proposals when they were talking about keeping certain things in place for a certain period of time, depending on the economic uh, situation at that time. Okay, so basically, if we're still in the pandemic, if we're still trying to work on economic recovery, then a lot of these programs would just stay in place without them having to constantly go back to the drawing board and vote on them. I'm still heavily in favor for that. I wish that they would try to put something like that in their package, but I know that for the sake of infrastructure, a lot of what I'm talking about doesn't really qualify. It's not infrastructure at all. But I do think um, it's possible for them to reach bipartisan support. It just it's possible, but it's not possible. Um, I think that the Democratic's price tag is kind of high, but at the same time, I definitely believe that what their opposition is proposing is very low. The only problem with both sides is that they're both too stubborn. Like I said, they're both trying to push personal agendas that they can't come together to meet somewhere in the middle to get what's needed for the economy for the United States, okay? I don't know, you guys. Honestly, we're going to be seeing a lot of this language going back and forth between the two groups for quite a long time. It just really, I mean, it really just depends at the end of the day with how I want to say how the Democrats decide to push this through. If they're going to try to go through with the budget reconciliation process, then it really doesn't matter what their opposition thinks. If not, then they're going to have a really hard time trying to get them to jump on board. OK, now, um, have you guys received your letter from the IRS? I received my letter from the IRS saying um, that I might be possible uh, eligible for the child tax credits. You don't, those are supposed to start next month around July 15th. As far as I know, this information hasn't changed. The portal to opt out of that, if you do not want to receive it, is supposed to be live and open on the IRS website as of July 1st. Now, again, I haven't seen anything to suggest that that information has changed um, or the timeline is different, okay? Let me do a quick check, though, just to make sure that I'm not out speaking myself. Hold on one moment. Sorry about that, you guys. I had to let one of the delivery guys in the parking structure so that they can deliver my groceries. But um, like I was saying, I wanted to check and see if anything has changed when it comes to emergency SNAP benefits or uh, pandemic EBT. I know a lot of you guys keep asking me about um, pandemic EBT for either regular pandemic EBT or... Uh, uh, pandemic EBT for the summertime. I did a video where I released all of the information that was available at that time for pandemic EBT. You guys might want to check that out because all of the payout information is in there. Uh, for the summertime emergency allotments. I'm looking at the emergency allotments list first. Actually, no, I'm not. I don't know what that is. Okay, here's pandemic EBT. Let me refresh. Okay, pandemic EBT. Nothing has to, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I spoke too soon. We have a new state that has been approved for summertime pandemic EBT. That is Connecticut. We have Connecticut. So I'm going to give you that information. So, so right now we have Connecticut, Hawaii, Indiana, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, North Carolina, Puerto Rico, and Wisconsin. So I gave you guys the information for all the other ones. I want to look up Connecticut really, really quick and give you guys that. Uh, let me see where the plan approval. It looks like your plan was approved as of June the 11th. Let me see what it has here. Okay, so you guys will be getting the standard benefit. This is for Connecticut, $375 for all eligible children. Um, they're going to set an application submission deadline of September 2nd for households of children who just newly became eligible during the covered summer period. Um, Connecticut SFAs will use their standard NSLP. Hold on, baby. What? What? Y'all hear him screaming at me? Uh, okay. Go help them bring the food in. He's talking about the groceries. Um, that was my son, if you guys didn't know. That was my son yelling at me. He wants me to come and do what I'm supposed to do. There's one thing about him. He's bossy. He's used to routine. I try to maintain a routine. Um, his dad doesn't think so because sometimes we end up going to bed really, really, really late. Um, but it's still a routine. There's still a routine and he's used to the routine. So when he doesn't see me following through with a certain routine, he reacts to it, if that makes any sense. Um, okay. I'm sorry, you guys. I just kind of cut off in the middle of my information. Anyways, we are, you guys are going to be getting benefits in Connecticut, $375. There's an application deadline as of September 2nd for children who just became newly eligible for the summer period. 
Um, it says tentatively issue a single benefit for the entire summer period on September the 18th for children who receive SNAP, uh, TANF, or um, Medicaid benefits, and then tentative, tentatively issue a single benefit for the entire summer period on September the 25th for all other eligible uh, children. Okay, so this is for Connecticut now for children under in child care under six. For the summer period, issue benefits for the full cover summer period um, to children who were receiving SNAP benefits. You guys will get that on September the 18th. So if you have children in your household under the age of six, they will also get that benefit on September the 18th too. Okay, so that was for Connecticut. Um, all right, you guys. So as you can see, I got to go. I got a lot going on, you guys. I just didn't want to leave you guys without a video. Bear with me in this time, okay? It's going to take me some time to get on some type of routine. Like I said, I have six kids. There is a lot going on. There's a lot of different personalities, and one of them is 14 going on 30. So it is a lot going on up in here. So just bear with me, you guys. I'm going to get back to it, and these videos are going to continue to come back to you. I'm going to be doing my research, dedicating time, printing out stuff so that I am already set and go, okay? But on that note... As always, I hope this information was in some way helpful or useful to you guys. Remember to live, love, and elevate. And definitely don't forget to follow me on social media. Again, it's just a suggestion. I am not making it a law. You don't have to. I would just really appreciate it if you guys continue to support me. I love y'all so much. And I will definitely see you guys in the next video. Peace, people.